dried parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. I have volunteered with Fed Trade just this year. This is actually my first class, and this has been a great class. I'm so glad I did it. This group of kids, they're happy to be washing the vegetables, to be chopping, and to set the table. And then they all have opinions about everything that they've eaten. It's really heartwarming. Seeing the look on the kids' faces, like, wait, we're using cauliflower as rice, and then they're all just so excited, and they're fighting over who gets to grate the cheese. I just love seeing them so excited about cooking. Who's going to put the garlic in? Me! It was really eye-opening for me to see how much impact this program was making. Seeing some of these students learn and actively think about what counts as healthy food and what doesn't has been super empowering. And you are going to create a meal trying to hit every color of the rainbow. Wow. All right. As an educator with Vetri Cooking Lab, I get to work with a maximum of 15 students once a week after school, and it's a 10-week program. So we go through everything from the importance of food safety in the kitchen, washing your hands, making sure you're handling food properly, making sure that you're cleaning up properly. We learn how to use all different types of kitchen utensils, knife skills. We work with a skillet and a griddle, and the students get to learn not only about different cooking techniques, but they also get to learn about dishes from all around the world. So this this week we're actually making chicken masala and we're making homemade naan bread from India. Perfect. Very good. We act more as guides. We talk them through doing it themselves. We put the knives in their hands, we tell them how to use it safely, and we empower them to do it themselves rather than doing it for them. You always use a bare claw with your fingers to keep your fingers safe, okay? And then you keep the tip of the knife on the mat. As we progress throughout the semester, we start to introduce lessons that talk about things like whole versus processed foods, food marketing, food culture. We also want to encourage students to eat plant-forward dishes. The classroom is led by our educator, but our volunteers are essential in leading groups through a recipe, helping encourage cooking skills, confidence, managing the classroom. And they're really the ones on the ground building the important relationships with the students that makes them want to come back each week. Show me your way. The ground port's on me. For me, the experience is a lot of fun. I like working with kids. The enthusiasm is great. They're all fun and, and capable and into it, so it's great. And when we put our own seasonings and our own ingredients in it, it's way healthier than if we buy the store-bought version, right? I've been working at Vetri for three years. I started out as a volunteer, and now I'm an educator. As a volunteer, you actually get a lot of responsibility during class. Um, you really lead a group of kids making different dishes and showing them how to cut things. And each volunteer really can make a difference in teaching kids how to cook. Can I try when you're done? Yeah. All of our volunteers come from super diverse backgrounds and they come into the classroom with their own knowledge. We always encourage them to incorporate their own knowledge and share it with the students. I started as a volunteer with Vetri about four years ago. You really don't need any sort of set background or experience. I did not go to culinary school. And so my skills have also improved from taking this class and teaching it and volunteering. My knife skills have gotten a lot stronger. It's also broadened my horizons to a lot of different types of food that I was not familiar with at all. That's right, baby girl. You In addition to the cooking skills, the shopping skills that the kids learn about the perimeter of the store, having the things that are healthier than in the center of the store, and what kids can find in their corner bodega if there's not a supermarket in their neighborhood. They may come in a can or they might be frozen veggies, but they're still very nutritious, right? Our students have a range of skills and experiences and needs when they come into the classroom. Our goal is to create a safe space for them and to give them a job that makes them feel like they did something important in the classroom that day, whatever that may be. Something as simple as a student who was afraid to use a can opener. She didn't know how to use the tool. She'd never used one before. She just giggled the entire way and held on to the thing. And I have this amazing picture of her that really sticks with me with this big grin on her face. And she's opening this giant can of tomatoes. So we really look at the kitchen as a wonderful classroom to talk about real life STEAM topics, so that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So we talk about things such as measurements and fractions. We talk about condensation. 
We're doing the multiplication and the recipe converting to figure out how many cups of something we need, teaspoons, tablespoons, for let's say 15 people. A lot of science behind cooking, so heat transfer, things of that nature. I like how that calms it down. Yeah. Yeah, because it's cold. And just basic reading and vocab skills, you know, they're learning a ton of new words. Bell peppers. Sauteing. Sauteing. I see kids make a connection to half of an apple or a full cup of flour, but they're doing it with food and with cooking and with learning about culture. So there's all these little ways that we are reinforcing the curriculum that they're already learning in a really fun and delicious way. Betri is structured really well. You know exactly what you're gonna be doing. You have a lot of communication with the educator beforehand. You're kind of not just thrown into the mix. But when I was a volunteer, I would get the recipe ahead of time and just practice it at home. Good job, great. I think the biggest thing that I learned is that if you start teaching children young and introduce good foods to them, they love it. Like, these kids love everything that, that we serve. And I think they're so excited because they actually made the dinner. They're part of it. Double thumbs up. <laughs> Working with all the students has been awesome. They're just so eager and so enthusiastic every week to learn a new recipe. So it's been really energizing for me to come work with them because they're just so happy to be here. I've seen from the beginning of a semester to the end, there are some kids who are sort of sitting quietly early on and by the last couple of sessions, they're right up front and enthusiastic about it, so it's working. Volunteering for the Vetri Cooking Lab has been great for me. It's really fun. They're really nice kids. I'm really looking forward to becoming an instructor with the Vetri Cooking Lab, to just be put in that position where I'm leading the lessons and getting the ingredients. That'll be exciting. I would say 100% you, you should do it.